Hey, my name's Bill, and this is how I do it. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the stabilizer bar chains on here. You know what I had? I had some makeshift stuff that I had got from Harper. I mean, Tractor Supply. It worked okay, but it's not something that's gonna be on there long term. It's not gonna work out. So I'm gonna do them, replace them with these chains I got off uh, eBay. Got these off eBay. So we're gonna see how they how these do. It look like it already looks a lot better than the other ones anyway. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, first thing we gotta do is get the old ones off. So, let me get some gloves. This one wasn't that difficult. Hell, it looks like this. Yeah, this didn't work out at all. Uh, these stabilizer chains look like they have some type of a zinc coating on it. Definitely is not rust resistant. So, we'll see how long they last, but they look like they're gonna work just fine as long as they don't get wet these gloves aren't gonna work Tell you one thing, Loctite is hard to get off. All right, let's do this, man. This, this is supposed to be simple. Supposed to be simple. Now let's put this Loctite on her. The technique is called Permalock. Loctite is a brand. I say thread locker. How about that? We'll cover all grounds. Just call it thread locker. Grab this 14 millimeter. All right, here we go. Grab the 14 millimeter, man. Let's get this on here and get this over with. I'm tired. I'm tired, I didn't want to be wrenching all day. Anyway, so now I got that on there. It's 
not really. All right, that's on there. Now let's speed things up a little bit. See right here, I'm, I'm doing the right side of this chain stabilizer bar install. And it's nothing special. I'm not really doing you know, too much different than I did on the other side. But um, it's a universal uh, chain stabilizer. So it was a lot of adjustments, a lot of, I don't wanna say jerry-rigging, but it, was, it wasn't made specifically for uh, this tractor so I had to do a lot of different things to make it work and it's really it's, it's an experiment I'm gonna see how well it holds up if not I might have to go with some thicker bolts bigger washers but this is just me it's a lot of grunting and a lot of uh, reaching and adjusting the stabilizer chains just to make sure they're even on both sides and you'll see later how the, the finished product came out but um, just enjoy the rest of the video and maybe you'll learn something maybe you won't it's really just a simple chain install with a few quirks All right, and here's the end result of uh, installing these stabilizer chains. You know, I had to get kind of creative with how I hooked them up, but um, I believe it's gonna do a great job. Good shot of how I hooked them up. And we're gonna see if that's good enough to hold it. If not, I may have to come up with something else. They change those washers out for some bigger ones. I'm making up doing that now that I've noticed that. But uh, we're gonna roll like it is for now.
Say thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Scott. Okay, let's hear it.